Welcome everybody to Destination Pen Tester. Today we're going to be reviewing INE's latest video on the EJPT V2 beta version. The beta version is what they're coming out with first. Um, they're going to be testing it. They're going to select a group of people to take the beta version and get their feedback on the exam so that then they can take that feedback, improve it, and then launch the exam to the public. So we're going to talk about timelines and all of those things today in this video. Registration is open right now. So if you want to take the EJPT V2, if you want to be considered to take the beta version, then you need to sign up now um, until August 5th. I am recording this on August 1st. You have till this Friday the 5th to register. If you do not register, you will not be considered to be selected for the exam. So the registration period will close this Friday on August 5th, and then the testing period is going to start August 8th, which is the following Monday. So they're going to start right away, and actually on August 8th, you should expect to receive an email telling you whether or not you were selected to take the exam. And even if you weren't selected, it'll also tell you an uh, send you an email to tell you that you were not selected, which I think is pretty considerate of them. If you have been selected, you have 30 days to take the exam. But once you start the exam, you have 50 hours to take it. More specifically, you have about 48 hours to take the exam, and then they give you two extra hours to write your feedback uh, to them. Because again, right, they're giving us this beta because they want to hear from us. They want to know how to improve. So they're giving us two extra hours to write that feedback to them. So the testing period starts in August 8th and it will close September 8th, which is exactly 30 days. If you do not take the exam within that period, you will um, obviously you will not even be considered to passing the exam and you will not get the free retake voucher that they give you. So if you're selected to take the beta, you have 30 days to take it. Once you started, you have 48 hours to complete the 35 questions and then two hours to write your comments, feedback, review. It's really exciting because that means that this Monday we will know who's been selected and who has not been selected. So fingers crossed, hopefully um, I'll get selected. Once you take the exam, you're going to receive your results within two months after the beta window or the beta testing window closes. So once the beta testing window closes, which is on September 8th, we're gonna have to wait two additional months to receive our results on whether we passed or failed the JPT. That means that we should be receiving our results by November 8th. And again, they explain that it takes two months because they go through all the feedback, et cetera, et cetera. So just know that you will not get your results right away, at least not for the beta version, but we will have to wait two months. But with that said, that tells me that the completed, the finished certification that will be made publicly available to everybody is not going to be released till at least November 8th, which also means that the EJPT V1 will most likely still be available from now till November 8th at least. I'm thinking about taking the JPT V1. I actually have a voucher um, that I bought a few months ago and uh, I'm really looking into taking it one of these weekends. I just haven't been able to because I've had things that I have to do um, every weekend. But, uh, but I think in one of these upcoming weekends, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. So, um, if you have taken it and uh, you have any advice for me, um, just leave it in the comments for me, okay? Thanks. Okay, so exam day. Let's talk about exam day. So the exam, they said it's going to be 35 questions long and it's going to be multiple choice questions. So it's going to be similar to the version one because you're gonna have the multiple choice questions and then you're gonna have to, um, you're going to have free form fields where you're going to put your answer in. It will be browser-based, okay? It's browser-based, so you're not going to be VPNing in. You cannot use your own machine. They will provide you the machine. So you will receive an email with a link. You'll click the link. They'll give you the machine, and then they'll give you the target machines too. 
And if you're not familiar with their browser based computers, this is what they feel like. This is what they look like. Okay, guys. So this is what their browser based terminal feels like and looks like. So again, you can see that this is a web browser. I'm in Mozilla Firefox and it's one of my tabs and this is, this is it. So this is what it feels like. Okay. So you basically have everything that you need. It is a Kali Linux pre-installed with all of the tools and everything that you need um, to test. So this is what you're going to be using during the exam. So yeah, that's what it feels like. That's what it looks like. I know that a lot of us, we rather use our own computer. We have our own tools. We have our own word lists. You know, it's just custom to you, custom fit, and there's nothing better than that. The next thing we need to cover is preparation, right? What do you need to prepare? So all you need to prepare is to go through their new PTS course, which stands for Penetration Testing Student V2. If you go ahead and take and do that, that should be more than enough for you to complete the exam. So I guess the next question would be, is it free, right? Is it free? So if I understood them correctly, the way that this is going to work is that once the testing period opens, which is August 8th, this Monday through September 8th, um, you're going to get free access to the course if I understood them correctly, okay, don't, don't, don't hold me on to this because, but this is, I'm pretty sure this is what they said and I'm pretty sure this is what's on their website. So, um, you will get free access to the course and, um, and free access obviously to take the exam. If you don't pass the exam, um, you will get a retake voucher. However, you will have to pay for the course if you want to redo the labs or you want to go through the material again. And they have different pricing options and uh, things like that, um, which are right here on the screen. At least you would have to pay $39 a month. So if it takes you one month to prepare, it would be $39. If it's two months, it would be $78, et cetera, et cetera. But this should be enough to for you to take the course again or go through the labs and then take the exam but retaking the exam would be totally free to you if you were um, selected to take the beta test and you completed the beta test and provided your feedback on it all right so let's do some uh, machine gun questions here okay so I wrote some questions down that I think that uh, that anybody would want to to know or talk about okay so the first one is who should register for it I think that anybody who is who's really interested do you want to get the AJPT do it if you have done the AJPT version one should you do the version two if you want if you have the time go for it right and if you're selected right um, so if you have no experience at all should you take it if you have no experience at all and you're you're a total total noob um then maybe not right um unless you are going through the course or have gone through the course and you feel comfortable then go ahead and take it but if you haven't gone, gone through the course i don't think that 30 days will be enough for you um unless maybe you can dedicate full time to it but yet it would probably be challenging nevertheless listen if you have the time and you want to do it, go for it. So do you need to take the EJPT version one before the EJPT version two? No, you don't have to. EJPT version one and EJPT version two are completely separate exams. They're completely separate certifications. The V2 is going to replace the V1. So um, the V1 is going to go away soon and the EJPT uh, version two will be their entry level exam. And as you can see, now that they're doing the beta, they're really, they're really working hard at it, right? They brought new instructor, instructors, they brought Amanda who uh, specializes in education and in and building training courses. They brought Jack Reedy, 
um, to help with customer service and kind of strategy and direction for the certification and other certifications. So um, INE is um, putting a lot of eggs in this basket, EJPT version two. They wanna make sure that their certification is the certification to take for anyone who is interested in cybersecurity and especially in penetration testing. Yeah, I think that they're making a lot of good moves and we'll see how that pans out for them. I mean, the competition is fierce. You have offensive security with their OSCP, which is the gold standard and continues to be the gold standard today. Everything that I've heard and read is that it is a good exam. It does test you well. Um, you need to know your stuff to pass it. You cannot fake it. To, to pass that exam, but it's not a beginner level exam. Then you have the PMPT, which is the Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification by Heath Adams and TCM Security. I've heard very good reviews on that exam too, but he has positioned his to kind of compete with the OSCP. And I don't know if, um, it doesn't feel like he has placed his to be a beginner certification. Um, in the market, although I think that it could be. I haven't taken it, but I plan to take it after the EJPT and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, let me know in the comments section below if you're thinking about taking it or if you have taken it and the EJPT. Tell me the differences, the similarities. I'm, I'm really interested to hear um, your opinion on this. So yeah, you don't need to take the EJPT version one um, to take the EJPT version two. You can go straight to the EJPT version two. So should you take the EJPT version two before taking the course? It really depends, right? Do you have experience um, so that you don't need to take the course and you can just take the exam? Then yeah, you, you probably don't need to take the course and you can go straight for the exam. However, if you have that level of ability and skill already, then the EJPT is probably not for you because the EJPT is for noobs, for beginners, definitely me. So um, the EJPT is for people who would need to go through the course to prepare them and then take the exam. So if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and uh, sign up. You have till this Friday to do so um, again. I have the link, I have the link in the description for you. And all you have to do is complete these fields. You just have to enter your email. Just make sure you're entering an email that you check um, frequently. You have to answer how many years of experience do you have in cybersecurity? They have all of these different options. But mind you, they will not be selecting anybody who has more than six months experience. Because again, EJPT is designed for people just starting out in the field and not for experienced folks. Um, the next question is, have you already taken the EJPT exam? Obviously they're talking about version one, so here you can put yes or no. And the last question is, have you completed reviewing all the new content and labs associated with the INE penetration testing learning path? This is asking you whether or not you have finished or completed the PTS V2 material. So they want to know whether or not you have completed studying the new material that they put out that goes with the EJPT version two. So here you can select yes or no. And that is all guys. I hope that this video helped you. If you have any additional comments, if there's anything that I did not address that um, I might have the answer to leave uh, the question below. And as always, I'm happy to help. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.